Hello everyone, my name is Wedgbo and welcome back to Pokemon White. In the last episode, we got our first Pokemon from Professor Juniper and Battle Arrival with Shannon Bianca. They fucked up our room and we got given the quest of going to see every kind of Pokemon in the region. A bit much for a 10 year old, don't you think? Anyways, in this episode, we can head on to Route 1 and learn how to meet Pokemon. So, can I throw it this way? No, it isn't. It's like the only way out of this place. And this is our first step out. We've spent all 10 years of our life confined in our room. I've finally been released to the world. Wow, is that a tree? Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? It sure is. Come on, the press is waiting. That's all you care about, you stupid little guy. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to have you waiting. Wow, she completely ignores him. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokedex pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it's said to that you can obtain even more, more information from Pokemon when you catch one. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. You sure are, you son of a slut. Alright then, so we're going to go ahead and she's going to find a trap. And she's going to show us how- Whoa, dead ass, wow, man. Uh, she's going to show us how to um, catch it with Minchino. And whenever I saw this cutscene, it always made me want a Minchino. Then you just like got later on into the game, you're like, eh, the crap. <laughs> so use them. I've already got my team planned out as well as some nicknames, actually. So uh, no recommending Pokemon. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> right then, so uh, gonna go use a Pokeball. I don't know what to say. It's just showing you how to catch a Pokemon. But if you played Pokemon before, which I'm sure 99% of you, 99.100% of you, basically uh know how to catch Pokemon. You've all played it before, I'm pretty sure you have at least. That's why you subscribed. Do you, you see that Pokemon just now? Here's how it goes step by step. First reduce the po po fuck, I need to do a voice. First reduce the Pokemon's HP. Pokemon instead have a lot of their energy are difficult to catch. If you can, use Pokemon's move to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it. I wrap this up in the best way. I have a gift for you, some Pokeballs. <gasps> oh my god, I'm famous, I got Pokeballs. Wow, awesome. Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and for carrying the Pokemon you catch. I'm going on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in the Kimia Town. Alright then, bye. Bye, Professor. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out of you in tall grass. Well, we kind of... That was self-explanatory, you stu... Oh my god, these people are so stupid. Like, every time they say something, it's stupid. I thought it was something fun, but we need to get going. Okay, cool, bye. Shut up. Uh, well, actually, it sounds interesting. It'll fill up the Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it'll please the Professor too. Okay then, until we reach the cleaning of the town, take care of healing your Pokemon to your own house. Me and Tevin will do the best for sure. Alright then, that's awesome. So let's just go ahead and head on and no wild Okay, we've got no wild Pokemon there, so uh, actually I believe if you come over here and talk to this young girl. Hey, I just met you. No, I'm not going to go along with that. Um, we got a potion. Because the potion we can heal our Pokemon's HP by 20. And that's pretty darn good right now, because we've only got just over 20 HP. So that can just chill on all our HP. Damn! So for this let's play I'm just going to be cutting out all the wild Pokemon battles because they're boring. You don't need to see them or anything. And I don't even wild battle train anyways. I prefer more of a challenge or whatever. How about it Rachel? Do you want to compare which of us has the most Pokemon with them? Sure I do! <laughs> what? 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 You only need Russia? What? You don't catch any Pokemon on Russia? What? Get lonely? Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you see how many Pokemon you found and how many you've caught. Over to Kumi Town, the professor is waiting. And the extra pen in there is ringing right now. Derp. Can't speak. Hello, how's everyone doing? I just stand in the pose with my hand on my face. It looks like she's trying to call us a loser or something, you know, like, eh. With the hand on her face. I just did it, like you could see. Wow. Well, I'm going on ahead. Okay, goodbye. Wow, they walk in sync. That is pretty incredible. So now we're in Accumula Town. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and talk to the professor. Ah, Retro, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. I'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know. Oh, wow. It is the Pedophile Center. Yay! This is a Pokemon Center. Don't you feel better as soon as you step through the door? I feel better in my pants. I don't know. Your journey of pants. Oh, wait for me! Pokemon Center is a really clever place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon will be healed, and Wolfsmore is absolutely free. So the nurses get paid minimum wage. The Pokemon Center is the trainer's best friend. Here, Retro, give it a try. Shh, I want to run away. Pedophiles everywhere! Everyone's a pedophile in this game. It's called. You should be called Pelomon. <laughs> I'm funny. Right, let's go heal our Pokemon because YOLO. I don't know. 
I'm never gonna say because you're low again. Other than just that. We've stored your Pokemon's full health. Now literally go fuck yourselves, get your animals killed again, and come back here and we'll revive them, because we're that magical. Except your Pokemon in your PC boxes, because that's logic. This game is so illogical, wow. I, I hate this game, it's so illogical. Jeez. Very good, Bianca, that's a great observation. I'm only reading some of the text, because you guys can read the rest of it anyways, it's fine. And we all know what it says anyways, I'm just reading... Whatever, whenever, when I run out of things to say. <laughs> Basically. So when you go to Shrine in the City, go meet a friend named Fennel. Okay, sure. She's a friend of mine from long ago. And I'm sure she'll help you on the way. Best of luck. I hope that your journey has proved to be the adventures of a lifetime. Da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna go finger myself on the webcam in front of many people. Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important, so I'm not actually gonna buy anything. I don't think I really need to. I think I'm fine as it is, so let's come out. Whoa! So like something's going on in the plaza. No, I'm a fat shit! Okay, that's awesome. I'm, I'm sorry if anyone's offended by that. Rachel, come here for a sec. Okay, cool, let's talk to this guy. Whoa, gingers galore. Gangbang of gingers much? My name is Getsus. I'm here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Huh? What? Pace, pace. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners and have come to live together because we want to each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume this is the truth? Pace, pace, pace. Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed down when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence there's no one of them? Yikes, I don't know. No way! Pace, pace, pace. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. <coughs> they are living beings from whom humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility to do once these wonderful beings are Pokemon? It could be liberation? <coughs> <coughs> Damn, sorry. That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then and only then will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. And they're gonna pick up the flags by walking to Ginger Gangbang, let me get involved. I love ginger people. Saying fire to my pubes, I don't know, that's disgusting. Actually it's really hot. Get it? Hot like fire, because ginger's hair is the same color as fire. The red Pokemon is leaving impossible, wow. It's not used to it that much. Alright then that's cool. Kiss kiss. Oh wow, this guy's watching us kiss. What a pervert. If I go on, chill out, go say. Slow down. Slow down, you talk too fast. He has a pony ponytail, it means he's gay. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name's Zen. My name is Sharon, and this is Retro. We were asked to complete the Pokedex and we just left on our journey. Our main goal is to become the champion now. Pokedex, eh? So I get to find many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that thing. I'm a trainer too, but I can't help wondering. Pokemon really happy that way. Well, Retro is it? Let me hear Pokemon's voice again! Whoa, that was an innuendo much? I don't know. It might be an innuendo. This guy is really creepy. He's the true pedophile of this series. <laughs> Everyone else is just a lead up. This is the true pedophile. So, uh, he's gonna have a pearl on. As you notice, we're still level 6 and he's level 7. He could have off I could have off screen trained, but I never train against what Pokemon is when I play games, when I play Pokemon games. Why, let me hear the voice of your Pokemon. Yeah, in my pants, yeah. Oh god, that's kind of disturbing, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry that your ears just literally got raped. So we're just going with more tackles here. I'm gonna go with Growl, that's completely pointless. So as I was saying, I never off-screen train, or on-screen train. I never train against Wild Pokemon at all, actually. I just, uh... I know, I like more of a challenge, and it just wastes time, and it's just annoying to get done. That's the whole thing, especially in this game. So, I just always train against wild Pokemon trainers. I don't know, I never fight wild Pokemon, I, but I do fight every trainer. That's my aim, just trying to fight all the trainers. Fight all the trainers! And this levels up to us up twice. Wow. We're level 8 now, that's pretty dang awesome. I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. Of course you did. That battle was amazing, it gave me a boner. And I creamed everywhere. Okay, that was very tasty. Huh, oh, strange guy. Yeah, talk about strange. Jeez. But I'm not gonna worry about it. Well, I am. I'm gonna have nightmares for weeks. I wonder about the gym leader in the next town, Strider City. 
Aim to battle a gym leader after gym leader. That's the best way for a trainer to become stronger is to battle the gym leaders in each area. And he's just gonna go just like that. So, uh, I think, well, let's check our Pokemon. Let's check our Pokemon instead. Um, we should be alright, actually. Oh, sorry. A derp. I'm sorry about that. Um, actually, there's a couple things we can do here of interest. There's one of interest, and then there's an item we can get. If you come up here, I'm just gonna let you guys listen to the music for a sec. So, if you come in here, talk to this girl. Shall I play my favorite tune? I'm just gonna add pianos to it. And that guy adds drums to it, so they added sounds to the soundtrack, which I improve it, or whatever, I don't know. Anyways, if you head on over here, there's another building where we can do some cool stuff. Let's go in here and head up the stairs. If we talk to this dude over here, this is a Pokeball, so he's gonna give us a Pokeball. That's pretty damn awesome. He's giving us his balls. This game is full of pedophiles. None, none match that N guy, and we all know what N secretly stands for. Oh wow. Ah, oh, damn it, I lost. Yeah, yeah, you won. So, uh, that's just to get you to learn about Pokemon type matchups and whatever, but, uh, we all know about that. All of us watching know. All of us. Yeah, I watch my own videos. I'll actually do just tech for anything I have to cut out or anything. But that's the only reason. And, oops, date, spoiler alert, this is gonna be uploaded on the 25th, probably. Yeah, I'm recording this two days before, as long as the first episode, and episode zero, haha. <laughs> I don't know, I have to do that every so often. The X transceiver is cross transceiver. Wow, I'm picked up on a habit that everyone falls into. It's the cross transceiver. They even say, Pretra, look at your mum, how are things? Yeah, while I'm gone, I bet you and Presser Juniper had loads of lesbian sex. Can you, did you, can you record it for me and let me watch? You know, I'm a bit weird, I'm a bit incestic, and, but I like, uh, Big asses. I don't know. Uh, yeah, she, she's basically give us some running shoes. I didn't really read that. So now we can run like a Jesus. That's awesome. Like a Jesus. Yeah, there's multiple Jesuses. Jesuses. Wow. That's pretty cool. Anyways, I think this is another good point to end. Next time in Pokemon White, we're going to go through Route 2 and battle our first trainers of the game that aren't rivals or whatever. So I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like and a comment. It really helps. Subscribe if you want to see more Let's Play episodes. And follow me on Twitter for exclusive updates. So I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.